Welcome back to the show. Of course, you're watching East Central, where we bring you all the biggest entertainment stories as they happen. Now, of course, we've brought you the news, and now let's break down our hot topic tea. Joining me on East Central to break down the buzzing Flavor and Casey's copycat allegation, as well as Burner Boy's new strategy to sue trolls instead of ignoring critics, is popular Nigerian broadcaster and rapper N6. How are you feeling? Good to have you on the show. I'm great. <laughs> you're already laughing because you, you've seen the headlines, you know. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Copycat allegations. I mean, yes. we all know where it started, you yeah. know. Flavor Nabania made the tweet, yes. copy, copy, Akaria. Yeah. And, and Oja Piano star Casey fired back. Yes. It's been buzzing on socials. What are your thoughts? First of all, they should use their arts. They're both grown men. I don't think anybody's afraid of anyone at this moment. Mm -hmm. But um, I liked it. And I didn't like it. Mm. Um, I remember Nas did a song a long time ago called No Idea is Original. Okay. So it, it's always got me thinking that sometimes copying is flattery as mm. well. But if you copy, admit you did. Mm. Let, let, do you get me? So as someone who is in the nightlife or and a DJ on the side, it's always good if there's a song that sounds like your song. So mm. it, it makes it easier to mix. Okay. So if I was Flavor, I, I wouldn't be too mad if I heard another vibe that sounded like my vibe because it means if they play that one, the DJ could easily switch it with... Do you understand? Mm. Even with Oja Piano, if you notice, during that Oja Piano era, there was a lot of, there was a lot of songs that had the flute. So mm. it, could, it makes it easy. Uh, Color Boy had his own piano thing yeah. too, so they could mix Casey's own with mm -hmm. that one. So I wouldn't have been too mad if I was Flavor. I wouldn't have been mad enough to throw a shot. Mm. But if I was Casey uh -huh. and Flavor threw that shot, I would understand why Flavor was mad. Because okay. I would have expected that someone like Casey would have probably sent the song to Flavor, first of all. Like, yo, man, I got this song coming. Mm. I shall sample some, some, bits some of, of your, your lamb out. Mm. Hear around, tell me what you think, you mm. know? So I, I think it could have been handled maybe back in the background a bit better. I'm not too happy to see two friends of mine dragging each other. I was literally with Flavor last week and I was with yeah. Casey a few days ago. So it kind of puts me in a weird position. But a lot of fans, you know, thought he didn't even tag, you know. I mean, no one was tagged in it. <laughs> Nobody tagged anybody. So I'm like, why was there even a response? I mean, we could have ignored them, moved past, you know. I mean, you get to a certain age and if you see shade about you in public, you 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 ask you shot an Amide. Yeah, you know? Nami. No, uh, you know that kind of thing because they are both rich, they are both accomplished. So I don't think anybody would. I mean, I, I would expect that from maybe the younger artists. Mm -hmm. You throw me shade, I won't say anything about it for a while. Then okay. throw you shade. I, mm -hmm. I, I expect that from younger musicians, mm -hmm. but you know, accomplished musicians like oh, tag me. Come on. <laughs> you know, and then I'll throw it back. You know? But wait, so you're telling me N6 that yes. listening to Flavor's doings, I mean, that dropped in 2020, yes. and now this Casey's um, Netflix, yes. are you saying that it's obvious that there, there are a lot of similarities, that this uh, is obvious? Yes, it, it is obvious. But now let me also say why it's good for the industry. I didn't know Casey had dropped a new song. True. I didn't know Casey had dropped a new song until mm. all of this started. And then I went to listen to Casey's song. Okay. And then I had to find out, is it close to the flavor song? But then I go listen to the flavor song. So we might just wake up and everybody has gained one million extra views on mm. YouTube and on their Spotify's and the rest. Because in this little discussion, we've both gone to listen to mm. both songs. So could this be strategy? Because, I mean, that, that break puts my mind there, you know? They're both uh, Igbo High Life stars. Yeah. They're both established. They've yeah. been doing this for a while. They're, yeah. not, they're not new school at all. I don't know. Some things in life don't start out as strategy. Mm. Then you strategize around it. Okay. So I don't know. I, it looked like a genuine anger from Flavor. Mm. Do you understand me? So it looked like Flavor was really mad. Mm -hmm. So uh, along this point, if I was in PR or whatever, then I'll come and start saying, oh, let's strategize with <laughs> people don't they hear the song, drop the video mm. or something or reply, mm. you know, that sort of thing. So I mean, a, a huge part of Casey's response got me. I mean, there was a lot of things from, you know, comparing to saying I was in the industry before you, mm. you know, so now, right. you know, the part that got me was, you know, gatekeeping the Igbo uh, culture. <laughs> Like I said, man, both of them should just take a chill pill, go somewhere, eat some unkwabi, just, you know, drink some pami, just, some, just chill. Meet and discuss this like men so it doesn't go beyond mm. the entertainment part of it. As far as I'm concerned, I like this. I'm, I like the Jojo. It keeps, <laughs> it keeps it in the news. I mean, if everybody was all chub, chubby and cordial, we wouldn't have shows like this. True, true. You know, so, I mean, think about it. Yeah. The Whiskey fans, the David O fans, will always, they would always Boom. throw it. They, they keep us talking. They do. <laughs> and we like talking. It's our, it's our job. 
But in a world of trolls and online critics, there's a thin line between free speech and you know defamation, or mm -hmm. should I say public criticism and mm -hmm. a possible sue. Africa giant Burner Boy has said he will be mm -hmm. filing lawsuits against online trolls instead of ignoring. Now, this follows, of course, you know, heavy criticism uh, by the multiples. You know, people have criticized him uh, after the arrest of Speed Dollar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, you think it's going to work? You, can you just send everybody lawsuits? People that even have money, people in their home. <laughs> because he's saying, oh, let me sue you and take your money. I'm thinking, I what, online trolls, like what money? I don't know. Like, Bernard, Bernard is one of those celebrities that he shouldn't hold his phone for too long. Like, <laughs> even he says it's on them, like... My sister has to come and take my phone. Uh -huh. So I don't know. Maybe it's, that sounded like maybe he was talking about something a bit more personal than something that's in the mainstream. Mm. But also, if you know Bernard, when I saw that post, I was happy because it also showed growth. Because mm. the old Bernard boy would, you know, would have handled things a bit differently. Mm. You know, we've had instances of assault cases surrounding maybe Bernard or people are surrounding him. We've mm -hmm. had shootout cases in especially like with the Cubana Club incident. Yeah. So if Bernard Boy is telling you now that he's going to be involving lawyer, police, judiciary, hallelujah. Anything that makes it legal, safe, and just keeps him out of trouble and certain levels of controversy, I'm good with that. So I, it I shows, mean it shows growth. So in, in well I, I kinda agree with you of course you know you want justice to take its school course. But mm -hmm. We've also seen a lot of mass boasts on socials. I mean, fans, people claiming to be fans, you know, pretending not to be fans, yeah, will of course make yeah. outrageous statements. And yeah. many times we laugh about it, but celebrities, you know, hit back, you yeah. know, fire back. Yeah. And Nigerians are used to that mass boast energy. Yeah. Yeah. So are you saying that it's maturity for most people to just leave that energy? Let's not go back and forth, you know, either ignore or just go the, the, the legal way. I'm old school celeb. <laughs> so, like, uh, th there's a theory. I have called the theory of Kardashian skin. Okay. And if you want to be a celebrity, uh -huh. you have to develop what I call Kardashian skin, mm. which, if it's not affecting your money, is just talk. Mm. You know, so I don't think in this day and age of social media where you can just bring up your phone and talk, 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 and be popular in three months mm -hmm. uh, or go on a reality show and be locked in a house for 90 days and then you have popularity thrust on you. I don't think a lot of people are ready mm. or have that moral fiber. You know, I could put up a, a tweet and have a thousand people insult me in that post. Yeah. And I would read each tweet and crack up. But there are some people that that could break their Them mental down. health. Mm. They, they would think about their lives. They would, um, they would throw away their handle. They would mm. leave social media. I'm like, what? I'm reading tweets and seeing how creative people are insulting me. I'm wow. cracking up. Mm. So that's, for me, I call it Kardashian skin. And a lot of celebs, a lot of people who are popular today mm. don't have that level that thick skin that thick skin mm. yeah thick skin uh, yeah well i, I mean I, I like the part that you talked about you know how truly it could affect some people mentally you yeah, know? yeah and that's a huge conversation because yeah. people kill themselves throw, exactly yeah. it has gone that far and in in some form people will say that speed dieting's you know comments mm. did go that far oh, yeah. for those who didn't know, of course he had publicly shitted barna oh, yeah. boy oh, questioning yeah. his grammy win oh, yeah. which we're all proud of even oh, yeah. releasing music oh, yeah. associating you know the yeah. african giant with this great star did he you know? I, I, for me, I want to know how Speed Darlington sees music. Hmm. Because there is music and there is his own type of music. Do, <laughs> I don't know, does he hear people's music? Like, do, he, 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 the beat is going this way. And I rap in my flow. I want to get it, they get it. You know, so I'm like, <laughs> if you hear music, you'd want to make your music sound like music. Hmm. Where does he get his own music from? Maybe it's just, it's a, it's, 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 it's a whole different conversation. You know what they say, <laughs> it's just art, you know, you just let it flow. Just let it flow, do what you want, but don't get sued, okay? <laughs> so absolutely not. But speaking of social media critics yeah. and defamation charges, yeah. there's an update, of course, on the VDM defamation case. Now, the social media influencer has applied to the Lagos High Court for leave to appeal the ruling delivered on October the 14th. Um, now, asking him to bring down the defamatory video and comments against human rights activist oh, Femi Palano and his son. He gets into so much trouble, I didn't know which one, See, which one we were talking about. You're familiar with this, of course, you know yeah. the accusations. Where yeah. do you think this is going? Do you know? Um, for me, I, I, I hate the fact that the Falana side of this discussion has removed us from the part of the discussion where I was really interested in. Mm where is it possible to actually pay and not be in prison mm. and stay somewhere else? Mm. 
Is it possible to pay money and have your lawyer water down your case mm. or drop your case entirely, like the opposition lawyer? Yeah. You know, so I, for me, but obviously if I was Faust and I was slandered inside that, that I'll be fighting for my reputation I, devoid of whatever fact was. Do you understand me? I so totally. I, 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 every time I hear this issue, mm -hmm. I support the Falanas for what they have to do to save their reputation. Yeah. I don't play with my reputation. Yeah, true, true. I have my issues with how VD, VDM could have reported that story Different. in a straight line mm -hmm. and would have had the crux of the matter being discussed rather than the frivolity. All right. So these are my, that's just my problem with that whole entire and issue. Six, yeah. I wish we had more time to break this down. Oh, but you know, we, this is We'll do it, we'll do it in the background. This is good talk. <laughs> what can I say? We'll be back tomorrow, same time, 4.30 yeah. p.m. to bring you all the biggest stories in entertainment yeah. as they happen, as they hot. Yeah. This is East Central. Pretty dark. This is bye for now. <laughs>